We're going to do a short 10 minute ish meditation uh, focusing on the full moon in Aries, which is today. I don't know the exactitude of it, um, but that's not as important as it is to reflect on actually everything that's happened until today. The micro and macro moon cycles. So the new moon in Libra, which was two weeks ago, focusing on relationships and how we show up in the context of our relationships. And then also the new moon in Aries, which was six months ago in like mid-April. So during this meditation, I want us to think about everything that we have created since then because Aries is about worldly developments. We can think about how we've taken action, the things we've felt we've had agency to create, and now is the time to look around and be like, I fucking did that. You know, I did that. You look around your life and how it's changed in the last six months and you can say, I did that. Which is part celebration, but also part radical responsibility. Because maybe there's frustration with the things that we did. <laughs> More or less, there can be. Because Aries is, is, for me, very associated with the seed. Like the idea of a seed. In the new moon in Aries, we have the seed bursting open. The amount of energy and life force and just fire needed to break a seed open to create life. That's the frustration we felt in the springtime of things are finally moving. Things, are move, things start to move very quickly. And so we are invited to take action. To start building things. And with the culmination of Aries... The full moon in Aries, we take a look back at all of those things we did. And the opposite is true. The kind of frustration that causes us to slow down and take stock of everything that's here around us. Um, and so with this little astrological influence, information, I think we'll just take um, the rest of this in silence and I just invite you to think about those things and reflect on them without associating too much of yourself with what you think about how those things have gone and just giving yourself the moment for um, compassion and for patting yourself on the back for everything that's working for all the things that you've done for yourself that have um, led you to um, be in a better place or things that have been self-supporting. So we'll just drop in with three unified deep breaths, if you'll do that with me. And inhale. Exhale. One more. And exhale. And one more for good measure. Inhale. And exhale.
<clears throat> Aries is associated with the card, the Emperor, who is the father. So as you think about everything that's gone on in the last six months, imagine your best father voice, your internal father voice saying, I'm proud of you. And if there's any, been any difficult lessons to integrate, you can imagine that voice saying, asking, what will you do with that information the next time you have the same experience? You know, how can we learn from the lesson of ultimately the ego? Because Aries also rules the first house of identity and ego. And so anytime we take action in the world, we're stepping into a certain identity of who we are, who we are to ourselves, to other people, to, you know, they're may have been people pleasing or there may have been really good personal development of personal power likely both are true we'll wrap up there just any final thoughts words of encouragement from your internal father voice. And I think I'll end this one with like a loving self hug, just like a, just like that. And in my head, my voice is saying like, you did good kid. <laughs> All right. place your hands over your eyes open your eyes slowly retreat your hands away from your face merging your inner world with the outer world Beautiful. Thank you for letting me guide this meditation. Thank you, Grace. That was wonderful. Um, the first thing that came to mind was just sort of like seed <laughs> cupping, you know, mm -hmm. um, and just sort of like creating a little bit of like energy and maybe a little bit of tension. Um, with, with between the hands which mm -hmm. i'm feeling it a little bit in my like heart area mm -hmm. um and then sort of like a an opening and so when i saw your shirt as i was thinking about this wow <laughs> it's so perfect and like a just like a sort of out here so i see it as like a three a three-part thing where it's like a uh a, 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 a an embracing, a cupping of this new thing, uh, an allowing, and uh, a releasing. This is the building, the arms up, yeah. It's yeah, like, the building, yeah. The tension of the seed, it cracks open. Oh, I love that. So, we go, inhale. Hold the seed. Exhale. Inhale. Hold the vision. Exhale. Crack the seed. Inhale. Expand the vision. Exhale. Inhale. Grow the vision. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, hold the vision, exhale, crack the seed, inhale, expand the vision, exhale, inhale,
grow the vision. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hold the vision. Inhale. Exhale. Crack the seed. Inhale. Expand the vision. Exhale. Inhale. Grow the vision. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. How's that? Well, that's some powerful shit. 